So there we have it guys. In first place we have zero water, which is zero. In second place we have... Hi guys, today we're going to be comparing water filter jugs to see if they actually work and to see if filtered water is any better than tap water. So the zero water comes with a TDS meter which measures the total dissolved solids which is basically contaminants such as copper, fluoride, lead, mercury and there's quite a lot to name. Um, so zero water they claim to remove most if not all of these from the water. So we're going to be testing and comparing all four of these, the two jugs, the bottled water and also the tap water. Guys, so we're going to start with the Brita water jug and I've actually gone through quite a lot of these through the years. I've been relying on it for quite a long time so I'm actually looking forward to finding out if it has been working. I don't know if you can see that. Two, five, two, two, five, three. That's not too bad. So the moment of truth, guys. Next up is our tap water. Three hundred and twenty-nine ppm. That is quite a bit of a difference. So it has been removing some of the contaminants, that's good to know. Next up is our zero water. Oh wow, it's actually zero, wow, that's incredible. So I drink quite a bit of bottled water as well when I'm out and about. Um, the one we usually buy at home is this regular water. It's the cheapest water that you can get. Hundred and fifty nine, that's not too bad. That's not bad at all, actually. So the bottled water is not too bad compared to the tap water. So there we have it, guys. In first place, we have zero water, which is zero. In second place, we have the bottled water, which is a hundred and fifty. 152. In third place we have the Brita filter jug which is 287 and sadly in the last place we have our tap water which is 334.